Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome to my ferret slash video game channel. And if you've been watching my other videos chronologically, this is the day two of owning the ferrets. So in this video, we're going to talk about the shelving um, that comes with the Ferret Nation 182 version cage. I had an issue with it at first and it was frustrating. It was very, very disappointing. Um, but fear not, there is a fix. So before you go rushing out to buy a replacement cage like I have already had done, um, before discovering the little secret, uh, well, let's just talk about the cage itself first, okay? This is the cage 182 double sturdy cage, perfect for multiple ferrets and the bottom bar, the base bars on the bottom are kind of a pain in the butt to put together at first. And then when you get the rest of the interlocking pieces in, the cage becomes a lot more sturdier. Okay, and then you're going to get to the point where it's going to ask, uh, the instructions tell you to put the shelving in. Uh, the shelving have little hooks. See, there'll be a hook right there and one on the other side. And that's it. And that's how it goes in. Now by itself, most of the time, the cage is going to freaking fall out. And that was frustrating. I'm like, that's going to hurt my ferrets. You know? So, you know, I haven't bought all this stuff here. Um, the idea was to put zip ties. And I had searched out the forums. Um, no thanks to YouTube, I could not find the answer on fixing. So, what you do is get some zip ties. So maybe I can try to find you a good example. Uh, I that done. Just put a zip tie round here on this edge to this bar, so that holds this end up and it makes it stay there. You can't put any zip ties over here, obviously, because this is where the door is. So that side's secure, and I put another one at the other end. Okay. And then I put another zip tie along that corner. So that really holds the weight of the ferret. And that makes me really happy, especially in this middle section here. This is where I've noticed that these trays seem to not work too well. In this middle slot. See, there's another slot up here I could use. But then again, that's going to make that ladder too high. And I don't like that. Too high up, too steep for the ferret to climb. If you get it too low, then you may have to running into some issues, especially with boxes here. So that's the video on about how to fix the Ferret Nation shelving. I hope this helps other people out there considering getting in this cage and what they can do about it. So everybody, enjoy. Have fun with ferrets. Please like and subscribe. And uh, have a good day.